Investors are watching closely those trade talks between the U.S. and China, which got underway today. The stakes are high since both sides have just over a month to reach an agreement or risk escalating the trade war. We have two reports tonight. Yunus Yun is in Beijing, but we begin with Kayla Taushi in Washington. For the third time in two months, teams from the U.S. and China are meeting to hash out a trade deal as higher tariffs loom on March 1st if sufficient progress is not made. The talks have lasted all day today and throughout Thursday afternoon, with President Trump sitting down with Vice Premier Liu He. The White House has laid out its case. It's open to China's offer to buy more natural gas and soybeans, but China must stop stealing U.S. intellectual property and technology and allow U.S. companies freer access to its markets. White House economic official Larry Kudlow says the talks themselves are positive. We've never had anything this comprehensive, and I regard that as a, as a big plus. How these things are worked out, we'll have to wait and see. The president has expressed some, I would say, guarded optimism about the talks. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin has been trying to manage expectations. Now, let me just remind people, we do have another 30 days after this. So my expectation is that uh, we'll make significant progress at these meetings. But I would just emphasize these are complicated issues. We have a timeline of how we've mapped out the 90 days. Overshadowing the meetings are criminal charges the U.S. filed on Monday against China. China's Huawei and a push to extradite its CFO. The Commerce and Justice Departments have said that situation is separate from trade, but the president has said he's willing to intervene in the Huawei case if it means a better trade deal. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kayla Taushi in Washington. Now to Yunus Yun in Beijing for a look at how China is approaching the talks. U.S. and Chinese negotiators are hoping to reach an agreement to avoid greater tariffs by the March deadline. The Chinese, led by Vice Premier Liu He, will reportedly offer a major increase in purchases of U.S. agriculture and energy products, a crackdown on IP theft, and will likely play up a new draft foreign investment law. The new law, which is expected to be passed in March, is meant to address U.S. concerns about unfair trade practices by, for example, banning forced technology transfers. However, the wording is vague enough that most foreign executives are skeptical this is more than a cosmetic move. In fact, many expect the Chinese negotiators to push back hard against U.S. demands for deeper fundamental changes to the way the economy runs here. The Chinese will also likely be less than enthusiastic about the U.S.'s proposal for an enforcement mechanism that would allow the U.S. to ensure that Beijing is accountable. The talks will also be overshadowed by the Justice Department's indictments against Chinese tech titan Huawei. U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin attempted to separate the talks from the indictments, though the Chinese see the targeting of Huawei as political. The CFO's extradition hearing has been postponed to March 6th. Vice Premier Liu He is set to meet with President Trump on Thursday. That's an important meeting where the Vice Premier will be able to directly send a message from President Xi to President Trump and could potentially influence the outcome of any deal on trade or Huawei. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Yunus Yun in Beijing. 